it always mingled. It gets everywhere. Uh, uh, am I a horrible person? <laughs> no, of course you're not. It's not your fault. Rest assured, whoever did that to him, the boy, will be brought to justice. That will be made sure of, so don't worry, okay? You have the right mind to run and call for help. Now answer me, if you want to. Why do you suspect this boy might be Alex Freeman? I, um, he looks exactly like Alex. He probably was. I've got his missing poster right here. He matches the description perfectly. God, he was Alex. There's no way he wasn't. How the hell? That's not possible. So, what? Officers are en route to your location, but I still want you to stay on the line with me, okay? What did you say before? Nothing of our concern. Are you still okay? Don't fuck with me. What did you say? Please keep calm, okay? I'm just doing my job and nothing is wrong. I can't stress that enough. You're gonna be fine, so please. Fuck, sorry, wait. What was that noise? The rustling. I'm unsure of what you're talking about. Can you please? Can't you hear it? <laughs> it's in the tree line. Fuck. What? Shh. It's right there. By the red shovel up. Uh, 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 I need to go. Uh, hey, wait, what?
Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves and the mortality. We slowly drove, he knew no haste, and I had put away my labor and my leisure too. For his civility, we passed to school where children strove at recess in the ring. We passed the fields of gazing grain, we passed the setting sun. Or rather, he passed us. The tears drew quivering and chill, for only gossamer, my girl, my tippet, only two. We paused before a house that seemed as falling off the ground. The roof was scully visible, the corners in the ground. Since then, tis centuries, and yet, feels shorter than the day. I first sunrise to horses' heads, what toward eternity. Emily Dixon.